Hi there, this is Victor, your host at Study Lab. We're continuing our series on bash scripting basics with a discussion on the test command and the if statement. But I wanted to talk about a lot of things today, so I think that for this video we're going to be focusing on just the first bullet point here and we'll uh, split this tutorial up into multiple videos so you don't get bored to death. So let's just discuss about and or lists for command chaining today. Uh, here you have the basic syntax for and lists and or lists respectively and we're also going to take a quick look at mixed lists. So let's fire up a terminal and go through some uh, simple examples. So I'm in my home directory here. And as I said, the syntax for an end list is command and command two and command three and so on and so forth. And the way this works is it executes the first command in this chain. And if this command executes successfully, then it moves on to executing the second command. If this one executes successfully, then it moves on to the third and so on. Uh, when any of these commands in the chain fails, then the whole execution chain basically stops. So if this second command fails, the third and subsequent commands will not get executed. Okay, so what does it mean for a command to be successful? Well, basically every command in bash returns an exit code or exit status. And to find out what the exit status of the previous command was, you need to ins inspect this variable here, dollar question mark. And in the command line, you could do that by just simply echoing this. And if the exit code is zero, that basically means the command was ran successfully. If the exit code is anything different than zero, then it means there was some type of error. Um, and let me demonstrate that. For instance, let's cd into a non-existent directory and we get this error. But now if we echo dollar question mark, you can see that the exit code was one, meaning the command failed. Uh, if we cd into a, an existent directory and uh, echo the same variable, it's zero, which means the command was successful. So going back to our command syntax for uh, endless and commands two and so on. Uh, bash executes the first command and if the exit code of this command is zero, so basically if dollar question mark is zero after executing the command, then it continues on with the second command and so on. But whenever uh, dollar question mark or the exit status is one or two or whatever, then it stops executing the chain. Okay, so let's clear this up and let's do some uh, simple and stupid examples like trying to cd into my videos directory and if this is successful we can print out cd was okay. So you can see that we're in the videos directory which means the cd was successful and then 
execution was continued and we printed out this message on the screen. Uh, okay, so in this way you could chain as many commands as you want. Now, we let's say we want to CD back because we just wanted to check if it's possible to CD into the videos directory and that's it. But we want to stay in the original directory. But before we do that, let's go into the original directory and let's do this now. So, it basically runs this successfully so then it echoes cd was okay which by itself as a command is successful so then it cds back so it appears like uh, we were all the time in the same directory here okay so that's pretty much it uh, on and lists uh, or lists have this syntax command or command 2 or command 3 and so on and so forth and the way this works is bash executes the first command and if it's successful or its sta exit status is zero then it simply stops so these other commands uh, sorry, these other commands are not going to be executed anymore. But if the exit status is anything different than, than zero, so if this command fails, then it will try out uh, the next command. And so on. So basically execution um, in, a, in an OR command list stops with the first successful command. So whenever it gets to successfully execute a command in this whole chain, then it stops executing. Uh, let's run some other stupid examples. CD into, uh, let's CD into non-existent directory. Attempt to CD into a non-existent directory or echo this is not okay okay so you can you see the usual error message for cd'ing into an inexistent directory and then it prints out this message because our second command in the chain is executed but if we cd into videos which exists and then or so cd videos or echo this was not okay then it since this first command is successful it doesn't get to execute the second command so nothing prints out and last but not least, let's try to mix things up a bit. So let's say we want to do this. We see the into videos, but if that's not successful, we print out this message. And um, then we print um, let's hope one of these was okay and then we see the back into our initial directory mm. or if that's not possible for some reason echo something really weird happened. Enter and the only thing that we can see is this message here. So let's hope one of these was okay. What, what happened here? So basically bash executes this first command. So it's, it cities into the videos directory 
that's successful so then it doesn't execute this because that's how the or works it stops executing with the first successful uh, command which was this but then here since we are using a mixed list uh, we get to the end part of the list and since this first uh, group of commands uh, was successful in itself because it had at least one successful command then this also gets executed so it prints out let's hope one of these was okay and since this printed out successfully it also cds back into the initial directory and so this final command does not execute because or stops executing uh, with the first um, successful command in an or list so basically uh, precedence happens from left to right so bash will start executing things from left to right and will continue chaining the commands accordingly okay so I hope you found all of this useful. Uh, next time we'll continue with understanding how the test command works, uh, single bracket versus double bracket, using the if statements and the double parenthesis for uh, arithmetic and C style variable manipulation. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell and see you next time.